Hey guys, Matt back in my uh, Let's Play world. The sun is setting. As you can see, I've got an enchanted bow. Quite chuffed with it. I uh, dug out my skeleton spawner down, or oh, it's about layer 40 ish or something. And I've got it rigged up so that they take a drop, go down to low health, they can get brought back up and drop down just there. So that's my uh, first little mob spawner. It's not a huge. XP farm as you can see I left it going for 5 minutes generating skeletons and then smacked them all and got to about level 24 ish so it's not amazing I will build a huge mob spawner when I've got all the resources and stuff that does endermen, spiders and zombies and skeletons all of them and creepers so I can just get a hold of my ender eyes so I can get to the end but, um, yeah, I've just rigged it up so that you just come down here and you sit just here, you AFK and then this is in range of the spawner so that the skeletons will spawn the skeletons are then washed down the track, drop down the blocks I think it's about 20 blocks to take them down to health washed along, then up a water elevator and then turn, taken back round and dropped up there yeah, I do have a difficulty on they're just taking their time to actually spawn some in there. It's usually quite quick. There we go. There we go. And those ones will just end up working their way round the water. And uh, you can just bash them with your hand or a bucket of water. Or a melon. Punching people with melons is how I love to play this game. <laughs> or snowballs. Go get yourself a stack full of snowballs and just snowball the hell out of people. And they drop here so then the skeletons can't see you. Occasionally if you're stood at a diagonal like that they'll randomly shoot you, but stood straight on you can just stand here and whack them and then collect all the stuff. So I just built this uh, little tower here. I still haven't finished on the bottom. I haven't fully put in the wall all the way down and it still needs the snow roof as well. Come out of you, you can see that. This has had its snow roof, but this one just needs its pointy snow roof and the wall there finished. So then it's like a sub tower off the main tower. The next tower I will probably build will be off a floating one off to one side, which will be layered wheat farm. Because I just thought I need some bookshelves for when I do uh, my enchanting table, and I need some wheat to get some cows, because I need some leather to make the books with. That was a crap shot, and I just fell off. Smooth. Alright, I'll just crack on with what I was about to do. But yeah, the skeleton, one of the skeletons dropped a power one bow for me, which is quite nice. Oh, and I've got 18 bookshelves as of now, but have I got, I've got all the stuff I need right up the top. Oh crap, just hit myself with my own arrow. Um, Alright, I've stuck my snowman up here is my snow generator I've got my snow in there and right here is what I was going to build next and show you guys uh, yes I've got cobblestone I just need to stick a wall in there and a wall in there I might need to go get some more cobblestone quickly but yeah, I'm just building an obsidian generator so then I don't have to go delving around in caves and falling in lava and killing myself because that tends to happen to me quite a lot. Because, well, I always end up just mining out the obsidian I'm stood on and it always sods law that that one's on top of a giant pool of lava and then I try to go swimming. Yeah, which isn't fun. Uh, just in this here. Right, this is a pretty straightforward obsidian generator and I will do a tutorial on this so I'm just gonna go through it pretty speedy as I am now. Um, but yeah, I'll do a tutorial in my creative world showing you exactly what you need to be doing for all of this. I would make the obsidian generator that uses string but I'm not sure whether that's going to be patched or not so I'm going to make this one to starters and then I'll make uh, that one 
which uh, then I can use. And I want the walls in there. Right, and I want my lever. Uh, where am I going to put my? I'll just stick my lever here for now. My redstone. There we go, that works. Alright, and the way this one works is when redstone's placed on the floor there, and the lava's released due to the um, water on the sides, it creates obsidian in the middle. So there we go. And then when you're done with that, you just whack that off, and the lava disappears pretty damn quick. Alright, so I'm just going to cover this up as well. At the moment I'm just making it to be functional, not to look pretty. So, uh, uh, this is all that my obsidian thing needs to do. It's basically just generate me obsidian, so now I can get rid of this here. Alright, now I've got some obsidian, I can go and build myself an enchanting table. I'm trying to remember the recipe for an enchanting table, and I can't for the life of me remember it. So I'm just gonna... I'll just pop off and to wiki and look at it a second. See you in a moment. Alright, went and found the uh, recipe for that. I need two diamonds and two more diamonds, and four bits of obsidian. Alright, I'll just pop down to my items room and grab two diamonds might pop down to the mines for another big session and get probably get another same amount of them two diamonds and a book and obsidian right yeah get rid of some of my crap a minute excuse me whilst I just saw this out I need to make a couple of bookshelves and I want that and that. Right. There we go. Oop. Right, so I've got my diamond pickaxe and my chest. So if I wipe my chest there, that can be for my obsidian. So I will just uh, skip this bit whilst I'm just mining up city and it takes a while, see you in a moment. Right then, <coughs> I will do a um, tutorial for this obsidian generator, but other than that, I will see you next time for my enchanting escapade using my XP farm. And uh, don't forget to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and check out the geeknews.com website. So, uh, cheers and see you later.